you should be the one to start. Yeah, you should probably. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was waiting. What up, what up, what up, what up? This is Brixton Bang, and I would like to welcome you guys to a brand new podcast show that we are doing for 2021. Hopefully by now, there is no more COVID. The pandemic has settled down, and we able to get back to some fucking reality. So welcome to the show, The Brunch Bunch. Wait, so it's going to be fuck and reality? So is it like a, a sexual, like a... As, as you can see, Gino's already starting off. It's a great question. With, you know, are you going to answer the question <laughs> or are you just going to step around it? It just came, you know, it just kind of came. Because like, you kind of went straight through like fuck. In reality, so it was like, wait, but is there fuck an and reality, or in? you know what I'm saying? I like, mean, we I mean, want to in reality, yeah, otherwise it's going to be mean, fucking fantasy 2021. But we're in a fuck. See, what I'm saying, here yeah. we go. I, I, I like that. I, like I feel that. where you're going. Yeah. It works. You see, it's it's yeah. really so easy. Many, to get I get it. Many ways. I'm just Confused saying, whoever's listening to you could really get someone's attention. Like someone's like, oh, it's just gonna be a regular show. And it's like, nah, they, they, they no. gotta talk about fuck. No, in <laughs> reality, yeah. English motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> That's how we doing in this show. Just random sound bites. But on this show, we got our man, Surgeon General. Hi. We have our boy Gino. Yo, yo. And new to the podcast game, we have our girl V. What's up, V? What up? Uh, What's up, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> so earlier, we were talking to V about her interesting life of events that. <laughs> Don't Go make it sound her. like shit. Like, I'm involved in shit. Like, I don't have drama. Just shit happens around me, and I just happen to notice it. And Observant is good. Th- yes. And I share this I wonderful you. knowledge with people. About the randomness in your life. About the randomness. Like, there's okay. always something with me. <laughs> there's always something around me. All right, and tell us an example of, like, the randomness in your life. Okay, I'm not going to give you the today one, but I'm going to give you the, like, couple weeks one. Well, give me a good one. Okay. All right. So, a couple of weeks ago, I had to go to the ER, right. right? Yeah. When I went to the ER, the nurse that comes in puts, like, those little EKG things for the heart rate thing. Yeah. Steps out of the room, comes back later, and goes, I lost my wedding ring. I have to go back and check. And, like, what? immediately puts his hand back in my shirt and bra and starts patting it down. That's so weird. Wait. <laughs> That's so weird. day after, like, legit, like, so the day after when I'm, like, finally back to it, I'm like, did anybody really fucking ask if this guy was even fucking married? <laughs> or was this, like, the, like, <laughs> like yeah, hey, well, is this I know how to here? feel titties today. I think I lost my wedding rings. Pat, pat, bam, pat, bam, pat, bam, pat. Bam. What, did he pat or did he do some grabbing? No, like he was Just like checking right, cool. hard. I mean, I guess if you're a nurse, like. Yeah. I mean, but did he lift like the boob or did he just like, stay on the top? he was all up in it. Oh, no, he was gracious. under the bra. Plot twist. He wasn't a doctor. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. No, you like, were there. No, he wasn't. The doctor, you always so see the nurse. Random. So the yes. nurse. Random dude just walked like But then dude. it make you wonder, was he even working at that motherfucker's okay, so job? Exactly. I really want to go back and ask. <laughs> like, exactly. exactly. If you can. Remember Leonardo DiCaprio? He yeah. acts like all these, <laughs> all these he like plays years like, of the, the fake, you know, right? careers. And everybody think he's a real pilot. He flying a real plane with people. He never went to school. For, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, or he really did that. Right. Or it could be like Bo the Fool, and he got fired from Walmart, took the vest, went to another Walmart, and started helping people. <laughs> okay. okay. I have a story to that. I really do. There you have it. So, you have so it. They are Black Friday shopping. At Walmart is the worst. Oh, oh. God, yes. Right? Hell yeah. I hate so, doing that shit. It's an experience. It, it is. Yeah. However, <laughs> you have to know how to beat the system. It's all called confidence. Go. I believe it. Go Black Friday shopping with tan pants and a blue shirt on and walk to the front and literally Yo. be like, I was helping him out in electronics, cash him out, go on break, walk wow. out. They will take you next. I believe you. I mean, you got regular ass clothes. Yeah. So. But you have You're to have the genius. confidence. You got to have yeah. that. You got to have the Walmart confidence. Next year, we all walk in there with blue shirts Ooh. and tan pants. We're the new crew. Not if all of because us Target are committed. Because Target would be the true essence I'm of confidence. I'm saying, uh, you yeah, have to no, be Target, confident. you have to be... Target, you have artists. to be legit. Yeah, yeah. there's there's no way. Yeah, a they probably have they target. probably have like chips inside yeah. there. But you're right, Walmart. Already. There's too much confusion yeah. going on. You so. was in the day shift. You worked yeah. in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. They're giving you extra. You just yeah, come out just with confidence. Wo- for a woman, it is just. I just Walmart. started. I'm new here. 
Oh, right. no, you have right. to have confidence. Yeah. Yo, we can like, be real dicks. We're like, ma'am, that TV you got in your car, I'm sorry, but that's, that's a no longer that's a sale open, item. That was an open Friday. item. They yeah. weren't supposed to sorry, give you that. They weren't supposed to give you that. Um, they weren't supposed to give you that, yeah. man. I'm, it's I'm actually not, broke. Yeah. I sealed it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's your PS5? Oh, I man, mean, if I, you want to take the chance, that's you. It's it's, it's, it's your money. Yeah, sir. I, actually, but, I remember that PS5 you just took, sir. That actually was a store model that actually doesn't work. Yeah. So, so they got everyone's fingerprints on it, and you know with the COVID, you don't want to take that home. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't Everybody want that. put their fingers all in there. You don't know where their fingerprints went. It was in their butthole, their nose, their nostrils, and now it's touching all up on your PS5, and they threw it back inside. You don't want that. You don't want you don't want the goodies. Go you get an want, Xbox. Want, want yeah, that, right? yeah, yeah. You like Bill Gates, right? The Xbox comes with the vaccine. Who do that? It came with a vaccine. So just go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna hold on to this for you. But then, you know? then I definitely get a PS5 with a vaccine. But we all can't go together. So no, no. three no, no. of y'all gotta go as the shoppers. I'll be what? a cart pusher. That's all. I just wear the, 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 the bonus. Oh, I'll be a fucking greeter. You know yeah, we can all do oh, different. That way, I, I walk in there. Different department. Welcome walk in to there, Walmart. Oh, this one fell from outside. Yeah. So we got to bring this back. You know? <laughs> so I, I just push it in the back. Oh, yeah. We just get some people working in the stock room. What yeah. if we are no. just helping people out in the car and be like, hey, can I help you get that to your car? And roll that shit into yep. your car. Because that can we help you get yeah. into a car? But, but then the thing we is, they it. paid it. Yeah, you, no, know, you got paid it before. They if you got to get it before the transaction. It. If you take it after they leave because the store, you stole it. It's, you, before the transaction, like it's like the, it it's fell. Yeah, the TV fell. Yeah. It happens all the time in the stock room. It does. So like the time like, that you took the dude's video game. Remember that shit? No, Black Friday shop, no. we went to Walmart. I didn't no. take and it. And then the dude was giving the video games behind his back. I was, I didn't he take it. He thought it was his wife and it was you. You never checked your shoulder. Not my problem. Not my problem. No, no, you know, no. You, know, you got to stay focused. No, no. Dude was no, going no, like no, this. No, no, no. Right? No, back, you know, no, no. All the time, it's V taking him. No. <laughs> Why he's taking Be a real. Like this. Yeah. Oh, It's okay. like an interception. <laughs> it was. <laughs> no, well, it was. He's like, he's like, I got it. He's like, he's like, he's like, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But give the backstory. Is she just taking on, no. taking on, taking on? Tell, the Tell the whole story. <laughs> Tell the whole right? story. Right? Yeah. But, but, but no, we'll no, do don't, do don't, don't make me look like the biggest. But don't act like you ain't fucking thing. doing hey, it. We're the media today. <laughs> what I'm saying is, there was a whole bunch of us that went. Okay. Then all of a sudden, y'all look to the left, look to the right, tap me in, and say, "You go in and get the because game." Because the video game. Stop! No. <laughs> and then you said, "Don't come back out without the game." Yo. I was not the tallest one there. Like the I was mom. About three things. Behind. Listen, you go in. I don't want to see you yes. till you got the game. So she was like, "Yo." We're yo, going in. Yo, you want to know what's heartbreaking? <laughs> right, so I go in. And I'm like the third round. Everybody in the front is like six feet easy. I'm nowhere near six feet, and he keeps stretching it out. So I kept jumping up and grabbing and Whoa. dunking him in my shirt. Hey. I roll outside with about 15 games. These fuckers are like, oh, you don't have the game that we want. Go back there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? But you didn't, though. <laughs> but you didn't. Who does that? <laughs> I'm like, hey, I don't want Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. You, Why would you give me Pokemon? You went in there I'm for a specific purpose. Pokemon. That's like, like so there's two. And then you that is, me but, but it's games. like 15 and games, though. I learned Thank a new game. That's like go. You. That's like sending the army in to get Osama bin Laden, and she brings out 15 other dudes that's not like, Osama bin Laden. They, not no, 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 no. Like <laughs> they all look like him. They though. all look no, like him. Though. When nobody else considered, <laughs> it's every don't look like no. Call of Duty. What nobody else considered was when this man was flipping over, he was like lifting above his head. I had to jump <laughs> and get that because his wife was taller than me. Did nobody give me props no, for the fucking none. 50 squats I did trying to you know, get these fucking <laughs> games and how to come out like a fucking quarterback in this bitch? But you uh, can't share ammo in Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all looking at the games and they're like, I, no, I can't fly no, a chopper no. in Pokemon. <laughs> then they look I can maybe fly a dragon. I'm just saying. Then no. we're like, go back in. What? Damn. Like, who do that? You know, yeah, that's hard. Knew what to do. So, <laughs> so wait, wait, what happened? Like, so wait, wait. I, now I want to understand. Well, we Whenever they say this specific <laughs> game, did that go out? Did you just say, yo, you know what? Let's just get a, any game. And nah. then, like, how did it work? Like, I wanted to call of duty. Did you, did you in mind just hear, like, video game? And then he said a specific game. And then you were just thinking, nah, video game. 
And then boom, like, so what happened? So we, when we got there, they had like the, the bin of games. So you had to sort through the games to go. Uh-oh. And on Black Friday, you're not really having that time to grab a game. Because so everybody's around you. Yeah, you just so grab and go. They were yeah, getting yeah. ready to like cut the bin. So he, oh, they were like, man. these are the games. We want like the Mario something. It was like Super Mario something oh, and yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, to, and right. they had like four lists <laughs> of games. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not going to do this. Got a whole I'm, list. Everybody <laughs> was going. I mean, yeah, before it is, you got to go there. through the <laughs> you gotta, Yes, you got to go through the thing. So they, we already got there late. Oh, so now man. I already started from the back, and I'm like, excuse me, like shifting through the people. Uh, uh. And I only got about three rows in, and the guy in the front was giving to his wife who was standing behind, and she was much taller. So every time he put his hand up, I'm jumping up, and I'm Boom. thinking I'm all happy as hell. Cause nice, he's nice. Crazy. So Clearly he kept he going, doesn't even realize he didn't even his look wife back. did it. No. His, what, what his wife do? Did she just like, Hell oh, I know. That wasn't my shit. argument. Uh, oh, that was not my she conversation. She was been taught, like, small. Because the wife wasn't even was, around. Like, so you know when she came back, she was like, that wasn't me. Classic. That wasn't me. And he wasn't Wait, looking back. That's not her fault for being there. But at the same time, dang, no call of duty. <laughs> 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 yeah, so homeboy wasn't checking. He was just like, Mm. Grabbing, throwing that's to the it, back. It, it, and I was just it. grabbing, that's and I'm thinking, your, that's not your fault. I'm None thinking they're gonna be, be like, "Good job, that. thanks for the hustle." No, they asses was like, "You ain't even get the game. Go back." Now I want to go to GameStop, whichever yeah. it was. Like, it's either Walmart or that, and that sounds like fun too. Yeah, on Black Friday, <laughs> that sounds like fun because, like, Walmart, you might just get in a fight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's like, the only reason why we went to Walmart on Black Friday because you know there's some fight going on. That's yeah, what, that's the reason why, you, why we went to Black uh, Friday. That's why I went. Facts. Because I wanted, I would try to record something. In Walmart, like, there was always a story on Black Friday where people was going fucking crazy. Yeah, and yeah but I Target mean, it was too organized. There was never you any crazy. About confidence, like it take confidence to step on some kid, especially if it's a white kid. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you, yeah. you brave. You been on camera. <laughs> Everybody right. knows stepping on Brayden. Yo, you did yeah, yeah, right. You <laughs> stepped on Dennis. Like, yo, Dennis is gonna have all his lawyers. Colton, like, oh, Colton, get away. Yo, can you imagine, like, mommy, in slow motion, and it's somebody's. Timberlands just like yeah. right on his mush. Wow. It'd be crazy, son. And then in slow motion, look at this savage. He just stomps right on him just for a 60 inch. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking black people in a minority. We interviewed shit. him before they take him. How do you feel? I never knew he was dead. But he got a TV. <laughs> his little ass shouldn't have been in Walmart in the first place. Facts, yo. Okay. Why didn't yeah. the kids are there? Black Friday? I blame the parents. I, do I blame too. the parents. Y'all seen the viral videos. Get a babysitter. <laughs> Y'all seen the viral videos. So I'm just saying, if your kids get stomped and happen to be whatever color, I'm and just saying, I think it'll get viral footage if it look like Little Timmy. I agree. I'm just saying. Uh, like, you got something to say, but. When, when, when you see like, <laughs> when you see the news, like, black man got stomped. Uh. Well, so Walmart is where you get life lessons, right? Because I can remember, let's think back to Guitar Hero. Mm. If you have your damn son at the store at like one in the morning, you're going to have some parenting to do if I come along the way. You had to do that kid like that, though. So I'm just (laughs) saying, (laughs) right? Okay. I'm just saying, like, you can let that story. Yeah. You can let that shit go. No. (laughs) But who does that? It was one in the morning, bro. That's the parents who don't teach their damn kids no respect. So we are walking around Walmart. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. And Guitar Hero just came out. Uh, so they have the little guitar thing yeah, set up and they play. Yeah. I am not a, a video gamer. I'm not a gamer. I'm just not. So I was like, all right, ain't nobody at the store. I'm going to try this out. And I bombed. And this kid turns around and yells as loud as he can, Damn, lady, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> So I turned around. I go, yeah, well, that's why there's no Santa Claus. And we <laughs> so now wrap. there's life Damn. lessons. For all our young viewers out there, there is a Santa Claus. Just yeah, yeah. She, know, was she was just she was just she was just trying to around. make there, their kids. There's sad. definitely a Santa Claus. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm not at one yeah. o'clock in the morning <laughs> at a Walmart. You don't want to tell you kids. Not at one o'clock in the morning at a Walmart. There's I'll Santa Claus if y'all got manners. How about that? What are you gonna tell them? Your parents work way too hard to <laughs> think about some white nigga jumping <laughs> 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 Jimmy. Just call Santa I a dude. white nigga. What if you don't even got it, Jimmy? Listen, <laughs> if, all right, if Santa that real, where he at when your ass getting beat, huh? Where he at when you need to pass that pop? That's, 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 that's not that's not Santa's job. Jesus, 
not that's not Santa's right. job. Right. That's Jesus' so, job. Feel, <laughs> Santa work one day, man. You give Santa way too much responsibility. I mean, I'm just saying. I gotta sell. I gotta give out toys and rescue your ass. This guy's NSA. He like he know when you were all sleeping. Then nigga, help me. The hell. He t- he got all How these. He say Santa songs? is NSA, y'all. Yo, <laughs> he's everywhere. How was he know if I was a good boy? Oh my Come god! Come on, man, this guy's everywhere. He's he on the yo, phone. He like yo, he's Santa on guy, the TV. Like that stalking he's shit. He's in going the on. internet. He's in the sky. You see the movies? He be doing it quick too. Quick, get hit and go. You know what? He could be like Zeus. You know how Zeus is foul, yo. His straight sleep with your woman. Your woman straight think it's like you, but it's not. It's Zeus oh in the God. image of you. You sleep. You, you can go ahead. You thinking that's your man. Finally, like, oh, woo-hoo. And you feel all good. Like, oh, you never touched me this way. And talk to me this way. Huh? And all this shit happened. You pregnant. And Zeus is a half so it's a half god, half baby. Within a minute of this conversation, now you went from Santa Claus, Zeus got you to pregnant. Zeus. Santa Claus somehow worked for the NSA. <laughs> okay, I'm, and he a white nigga by by, by what Gino said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what kind of nigga go in your crib, don't pay, eat your cookies, and bounce? Obviously, a white nigga does. Well, and I'm he may or may it. not give you a gift. You no. know what I'm saying? Like, he may. It's not guaranteed that Santa going to give you a gift. They straight tell you, like, look, I'm going to put coal in your shit. That's it. I know you spent all this money. You decorated your house. You did all that. You did all this. But you was a piece of shit. So I'm going to leave you coal. That's Thanks for it. the cookies. That's it. <laughs> yeah, he never said he's not going to take the cookies. Oh, I'm getting them cookies. All right? If, yo, Santa is a nigga. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what color you Welcome to my TED Talk. Yo. <laughs> Real talk. So, so if, any, if anyone out there is looking for t-shirt ideas for the holiday season, <laughs> <laughs> we will be selling Santa is a nigga <laughs> shirts this holiday season. If you hashtag Santa is a nigga, you get 20% off the t-shirts. I'm with it. Let's do it. Santa is a nigga. <laughs> Yo, let's give him a goatee. It be that Santa nigga from Coca-Cola so, commercial. <laughs> We will have we will have the Shopify link up soon for Santa's and nigga t-shirts. <laughs> and apparel. Like Gucci man in his Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Santa is a nigga. I ain't never heard that one yet. <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying, man. That's the no. type of shit they feed us Easter bunnies, fucking for Easter. Like, I I don't want to. Where else confused. would you see the Easter bunnies? That's, that's what. It but see, I never understood. I never dude. understood. They're not talking about. But see, Jesus. but I understood the need for Santa. But I never understood the need for the Easter bunny. Like he didn't do shit. Yo, like the dude, like what the drop off colored eggs and random ass places this yo, nigga and shit it on. Yo, this so like, he much shit out random eggs and he's walking different colors too. I yeah. always thought like, the eggs was like white, yeah. maybe brown. You know but this nigga shitting colored but eggs. All sorts of, and then and then they get mad at you that it has to be pastel. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Who gave a fuck? Like serious. Yeah. Who really cares? You got a gift for on Easter. We're celebrating, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Yo, let's give you some eggs. But Yo, wait. They got to be pastel, though. They're pink. This one's purple. This one's green. Yeah. Like, it's yellow. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here, people? What are we doing here? I'm still trying to figure out the trees. Like, who said that? Like, you know, for like, we're going to decorate trees. <laughs> like, who said that? We're gonna That's a great them. idea. Yo, Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. You read through the that whole ain't book. even a Christmas tune. Yeah. At least if you don't talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the <laughs> damn Christmas. <laughs> the I'm okay. just saying, you obviously didn't hear the news. I'm like with it right now. Like, just saying. Like, yo, go get him, G. I got you. I mean, you didn't hear the next song, Santa the Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> it came out earlier today, Santa. Yeah, that was earlier. Yeah. Why are you more? I think, like, the baby was on there. T-Pain, <laughs> Mariah Carey was singing the high yo, notes. the baby could be in on the manger. Or, 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 the manger track? Yeah. <laughs> the manger track. <laughs> the manger. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, with y'all. The A manger. <laughs> y'all is uh, stupid. <laughs> Straight. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, Yo, bum, bum. <laughs> we didn't win. We didn't jump off a like, random stuff. I guess obviously we just gonna talk about random ass holiday yeah, icons. Pretty much. We got Santa. You had Easter. Like who else? Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day don't really have a. It's not really. Cupid. Oh, Cupid. Oh, Cupid. Oh, Cupid. But they never Cupid. talk about Cupid for Valentine's nah. Day. Nah, they talk. They about, about like chocolates and buying shit. That's it. Real talk. They never talk about Cupid. You know how they did black people. 
They're like, well, you thought we was just going to give you a whole month? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let's throw some bullshit in there. Oh, yeah. How about uh, Valentine's Day? We I don't know what happened that We're going to give you a random, a random white baby in diapers. That's it, right? And, and, and with a bow and arrow. And really <laughs> some violent motherfuckers, so you got to give the nigga an arrow. It couldn't just be about love and he fly around. No, because you if, you go, if, you're a, if you're a half naked white baby in diapers <laughs> and, you <laughs> and you go into the hood, you can't just roll up you on can't people. just walk in the hood. You got to shoot him from afar. As a white baby in diapers, you got to have something. Yo. How do we make these hoodlums <laughs> fall in love? I don't know if I'm a... I mean, if you got... <laughs> man you, down, man down. I mean, if you got LaRon and Sharkeisha, <laughs> the, the, the the white diaper baby, yo, you got to figure it out. Facts, yeah. You can't just walk up. You can't up just, yo, you can't just, just walk up to LaRon and be like, yo, facts. I'm going to get you and Sharkeisha in love. They're going to look at him like, who the fuck is you? Yo, like, worry, you don't see yo. these wings on my back? What do you mean? Who am I? Oh, like, they say this nigga got a weapon got aiming at the them. first time he went to the hood. Yeah. Who the fuck? I'm just trying to get your parents in love, man. Fuck you. She told me I was an accident. <laughs> They're like, who is this short Kevin Hart looking motherfucker with a diaper on? Talking about, we hey, nigga, you grown. We need to be in love. <laughs> Take the diapers off, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine Cupid like like a billion years old? Everybody still talks to you like you're a baby. Oh, look at you, bitch. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know how old I am? <laughs> like Gary Coleman from like different strokes shit. Like, you know, you remember, I'm an adult, nigga. You ever look like the Gerber baby with wings and shit? <laughs> 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 Nobody <laughs> takes you serious. <laughs> this nigga's super wide. You never get laid. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be the ghetto Gerber baby for <laughs> real. You can't, yo. He can't get laid. <laughs> he can't get laid at uh, all, dude. You can't fuck you. He look like a, a kid. Exactly. When he go to grow up to some random but if he's ass a girl, if he's a thousand yo, years old, now, can you imagine yo. you see like Cupid in the club, in yo, the strip do club, diaper? <laughs> yes. Or do they just hide that shit? You know how they be doing them, them, them old angel babies. And they butt naked, but then they like never show you their balls. They like just show nah, you. No, like, you, you can't be showing like, the baby's balls. I mean, I'm just saying, like. I mean, we assume that the they diapers. Di- I mean, if they free and, and out and about, and I would be like. How do you even know Cupid's a boy? Because he had no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like, I feel That's like baby, the they don't it's give a shit for your girl. They just on. put a diaper on them and let them go. Titties ain't frowned I mean, upon. <laughs> I mean, if Cupid was a girl, you would think yo, they put a shirt on him or her. Wings, I'm, yo, Cupid That's is very, sports. uh, what is it? What do they call that? Uh, this is 2020. You need to I become I can't even think about the word. <laughs> yo. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I would totally. assume Cupid is a, a, a dude because I mean, walking around with no shirt on. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, like, what girl gives a shit if you fall in love? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not about her. <laughs> they're they're not trying to hook anybody up. Hold the hell. Hold the hell. That bitch thinks she fly. I ain't gonna fuck that. I ain't gonna. Mm-mm. I ain't gonna make them fall in love. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, he got a Mercedes she, Benz and a wrist yeah, watch. Nah, he didn't fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> Cupid, if, if Cupid was a female, Cupid would do, not do the job no, no. more. As oh. a woman, I feel attacked. Because <laughs> <laughs> Cupid gonna find her man in that G wagon. All right, all right. As a woman. Do you, do you, are we far fetched? Is that far fetched to think that? So I'm not the right woman to ask. I promise you that. So I don't believe in Valentine's Day and all that shit is Hallmark holiday. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm just saying. That. Would you believe that? Like instead of the Cupid woman wanting to do the job to make these two people fall in love, like she, because it can happen to the dude too. Yeah. The Cupid, like we mentioned, Zeus, he won't let no humans do their thing. He'll come in there and, and then. Drop you know, seed all up in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's a whole Maury. Yeah, Maury been around, you know, when Zeus oh was around. Oh, my God. You know, you see Zeus, the you are not the father. <laughs> what you mean? Good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the sky open up, thunder come down. Ah, Poseidon oh. laughing in the court. Ah, nigga, I told you. <laughs> Yo, Perseus looking sad in the bitch. Yo, let me just make you give me my sword back, bitch. Oh my god, <laughs> y'all is stupid. Give for me that this one. horse. Give me the mechanical owl in the movie, nigga. Oh. Like everything. Give me y'all surprised. Be like, I swore I hit him with this. Well, yeah. no, that's if it was male Cupid. If it was female Cupid, she probably give a shit. She like, fuck, like, fuck it. Cause she like, I got my man. I got my G wagon. He gonna get my hair done. I'm good. Facts. He won't even give. Look, y'all can fall in love. Y'all can not. Fall you gonna back. see Cupid with a full long color weave on? Cupid good. <laughs> Nails done. The whole nine. 
I just want to let you know. And now that you're talking about hair done and getting and getting weaved and all that shit, why Alta got an advent calendar for fucking eyelashes? Oh, I saw that oh, shit today. What? It is an advent calendar with eyelashes, and the bonus it. gift is glue. I am so invested in eyelashes. I swear. The only reason why you don't wear eyelashes is because you was like, you don't understand why black chicks, um, no, mostly only black chicks, chicks, you see with them fucking no. long no. ass, weird looking eyelashes. Let's not, no, no. Let's not just go with black chicks. Everyone. It's all chicks. Because the bitch yeah. that was at the Tropical Cafe, I placed my order. Oh. Oh. Her eyelashes were so damn big, the bitch damn near fell asleep. Because oh. it was so heavy. No, She's yeah. like, <laughs> can I take you? But I never <laughs> understood <laughs> the need. Like, but, uh, no, I don't know. But, uh, long eyelashes. I'm like, 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 you know, they the too long heavy. eyelashes really be like, yo, that bitch body look like shit. But damn, them look eyelashes. Look at the eyelashes. Good. Man, I like, fuck the I shit out of those eyes. I will <laughs> fuck them until my <laughs> eyelashes <laughs> fall off. Like, like I saw them just don't, don't, do, It never does it for me. Like, what nigga could say eyelashes like, yo, she fucked but, up? But no, but clearly though. we have gone out of control yo, when the got... eyelashes put your ass to sleep. Like, okay. You, Dude, I, they be like long as shit. Like, yo. she took my order and literally had to look up and then. Just to see you. Damn, I mean, and then the eye starts to get close. Yo. Yo, wake up and cut them lashes, son. It's not that she falling asleep. Day. It's the eyelash glue is sticking together. So <laughs> it's like. He gotta go like that, open her eye up and shit. No, but I literally just found that shit out today. I'm this many years old when I found out that at Ulta you could get an advent calendar for fucking December with different eyelashes. So every month it's got every like day you a different get different eyelash. set of fucking lashes. Oh, it's one of those 365 oh, day calendars. Calendar calendar. Yes, it's like, like, like with the, the door. little door thing Remember that you door, go to. Oh, yeah. like the Christmas joint. Yeah, you get Christmas yeah, eyelashes. You open the door, it's like wow. a little tree. Or Ain't that the most you know? ridiculous shit? See, I told you I'm not the right woman. I can't but believe they made that. I don't. I just didn't know that eyelashes was like. I, I never understand. understood it, the eyelashes. Whether you're here or not, we're still going to be this one. So, be, you know, we're comfortable. Oh, yeah, we, we, this is you know what we're comfortable. So, yeah. it's not. Whoever's out there, it's not an attack on women or men because we hate both of y'all. We hate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we hate all y'all. Yeah. I mean, I, it's, uh, it's not even that. It's just that we have issues with both of y'all. This love, but there's issues with yeah. both of y'all. We even <laughs> hate old ass. Small babies with diapers that could be a Yo, transgender. We don't know. Exactly. Well, sure, you don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We see it. <clears throat> We're you already mad see that it. Zeus wasn't the father, so like, let's go there. I mean, just I mean, saying, though, that's a lot of gifts to give a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's not even like your shit. Like, hey, I'm just saying, man, that's the, the fucking sword, the shield. That's just a lot of shit. And then if you have a bunch of, you know, guys laughing and shit, like, ah, this nigga. Like, ah, nigga. What happened to your favorite sword? Oh, whoops. Give that to that nigga. Look at you. <laughs> Gave me God in my ass. That nigga's human. He's human, nigga. You saw Mario. I saw that shit. You saw that nigga. Yeah. And everybody just start talking shit in the fucking Olympus. My fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, too much. it's too much. It's too much. A god shit have to be dealing with that. You know, you're late, <laughs> That's, it's Look. not god shit. You know, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not god shit at all. It's not god shit. God shit like I gotta worry about COVID. <laughs> no, yeah, you know what I gotta saying? make sure that village getting yeah. water. Oh, you know I gotta make sure the sun come out every day. Yeah, yeah like you know what I'm saying. You realize if I don't do my job, everything just ends. Yeah, but nigga, yeah. Yeah, you was a martyr. Like, come on, <laughs> come on <laughs> man. I do great things, man. But it's messed up with your people around you. And yes, man, they're like, yo, you fucked up, though. You know that, right? Well, yeah. so, I mean, you fucked up. So, in fairness, at least he was on Maury and not on Jerry Springer, because then that would have been some fucked well, up. Yeah, he would have been all fighting. He probably wasn't ready with Jerry Springer, but he don't want to say shit. He, he wasn't like, right, that was waiting for y'all time. <laughs> yeah, I got babies everywhere. Let's just, let's just cut that shit right now. I don't, I don't blame him, because that's, you know, that's some God shit. You can cut shit off any time. Hey, I don't want to talk about it. Ooh, right, we're, done. <laughs> we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're done. This nigga tripping, this nigga tripping. <laughs> so when he gets mad, he just so keeps you, throwing thunder everywhere. Yeah, you so can't, what you, you can't saying? Debate with him anyway. So what you saying? Well, I'm just curious. With advent calendar, so would that be a proper gift for a female? Would you give her an advent calendar with different with lashes, different eyelashes in it, and that's all she get? These are my eyelashes. I know like, the I live eyelashes. with the, these minds. Like, I'm wondering for a girl. I'm just saying. I don't, like, I don't yeah. put fake lashes on. If they on. spend money it, to do that, yeah. Yes. If it's all to. Bread, <laughs> like they're not gonna just spend money on something that's not gonna work. They know they got it's actually kids. Uh, you gotta think about it. It's not. I don't even think they're trying to market older like us. But what we see grandmas kids. with eyelashes on my too, though. Daughter, my daughter, yo, them eyelashes scare the shit out of me. Cause I be sitting around. Just well, did you business, know you can go to Ulta and, like and get spiders. her? You can get her. 
25 days of eyelashes. Yeah. 25 days. Well, now I know what yeah. is much. But think about it. It's like, I never would think that would be a thing. For she, a 13 year old did one. Yeah. Like, eyelashes. That, yeah, you know, that, that was new to me. But her friends are on it. The celebrities they watch are on it. The characters on Disney and blah, 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 blah. So it's like, shoot. I know my, people wearing pants backwards. My thing that I, that confuses me is they put the fake eyelashes and then add <laughs> mascara to that shit. I'm like, you're already making them, but whatever. I'll take I mean, if you are already gonna fake it out, you might as well go full already, on. Right? I mean, you are gonna do the eyelashes, you are gonna do the fake That's hair, it. fake tits. I mean, the whole nine. Fake legs. Her ass don't look like that. That's it. That's true. That's true. Hey, listen. They man. become Shrek after midnight because they gotta they take do. all that shit off. That's they it. do. That's where Cinderella come from, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to tell kids a long time ago, don't believe that bitch. <laughs> That's why you'll never see a black Cinderella because it's too close to home. That's it. We'll right never now. see a black they Cinderella. Take they take because off. a black Cinderella, think about what? it. Let's no, it's real. real. You back can't back see a black Cinderella. To go to sleep. That'd be a 20 minute process. Let me Hold see. on. Black Cinderella, Cinderella's a chick who, who yeah. with her three stepsisters or two stepsisters. Yeah, hating. And her or whatever. Hating, her, her hating, hating. What, stepmama? Stepmama. Yeah. Stepmama. Yeah. Okay, minority version. Motherfuckers doing that shit right now. All day. All, day long. All the time. When they went, some motherfuckers, because they dad, they dad died, and he married some chick who had two daughters. Mm. But the mom don't like her ass, so they make her do the bullshit. Yeah. How Man. are we there from eyelashes? I'm confused. <laughs> Fake yeah. bitches. And not only from the... <laughs> this is the fake. transition. I'm just Yo, saying, the transition. I, this was a transition. No, yeah. it's not transition. We still talking about fake but bitches. Think about the, also the <laughs> but transition. But it wasn't fake bitches. Cinderella is a, is a fake bitch. Yo, and think about she it. Is. She is. Like, every, she got to be back home before she gets, you know. When Cinderella oh, goes oh, to the ball, that's not yeah, 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 what no. Cinderella looks like. I think you all got the wrong the princess. Shoes, she broke her Hold shoes. Hold on. No, got the wrong Cinderella princess. don't look like that when Cinderella ain't got no power. Half of us don't it, look this way without color. makeup and no, like this is not what I look like when I put myself together to That's go right. to work. Yo, think about it. And, it, and y'all Disney? is thinking about Shrek. No, because Fiona the only princess, Fiona, 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 no, no, the Disney only princess Fiona. that looked like her all Why the way around was Snow Disney? White. Snow White was the <laughs> only one that never changed. Snow yeah. White always looked like Snow White. Yeah. And she yeah. was, even when she was poison. Even yeah. when she was poison, Snow White never looked different. Yeah. And she used to hang with the you regular folks. You want to know why? I can tell you why. I can tell you why. I can tell you why. Seven niggas and she ain't going to smoke weed? You know she was smoking weed. Do you know why Snow White looked the same? Why? Because the fucking graphics from 1940, we didn't have all that animation. Shit like that. That's why it looks the same. And she was on mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? Because they're in the forest. I feel Makes like sense. we're adding shit to the story. Oh, I well, that I read that yet. Well, I mean, I'll I, check the Urban Dictionary for the Urban Disney. I'm just yeah. thinking about it now. Got like, it. Okay. Maybe that's what she had a bad mushroom. That's like the apple. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay. You put and Snow White in, in contact today. The prince came with like some good a weed? chick with seven dudes. Yeah, honestly, that's not like a Spanish family to me. You got all the motherfuckers <laughs> in one house. <laughs> that's Spanish. Yo, that's 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 very accurate. That's, that's not a lie. I'm not. I'm not like half of them. Okay. My whole family. Her real name saying. would be Snow White Rodriguez. Like, <laughs> let's well, keep it real. So Snow Blanca. I love you. It's an R. It's okay. Rodriguez. And Dopey and Sleepy. Those are like some Latin God, game names. On, those, are, those are definitely those are game names. Yeah, yo, de- and de- real. And the Dopey and the- Sleepy's the deal. Listen, so Dopey. Like, get over here, the, Dopey. The reason why the nigga That's sleep because he had high. edibles all day. Yeah. If you want edibles all day, I'd be sleepy too. And happy. Yeah. Happy. happy. They drug them. Uh, All them niggas was drug dude. dealers. That nigga is the epitome. Never get high on your own surprise. Yep. And happy coming in here just bouncing yep. out and shit. Come on, nigga. We got yep. guests. <laughs> 2021, Snow White and the seven drug dealers. <laughs> we finally got a female <laughs> friend up in this bitch. This nigga come in. Ah, yep. All wild and shit. Calm down. Yep. They're like, oh, what you need? What you need? I, 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 from I need a fool. <laughs> oh, you know. Well, we like know Tigger was like. Cocaine. Like, like Tigger was, was on that cocaine. shit, yo. All day. Okay. Can you imagine if, like, Tigger went to the seven dwarfs to get his drugs? Yo. <laughs> like, yo. I'm looking for Xanax. Yo. Oh, go yo, find yo, Sleepy Tigger, Holmes. Tigger be like, yo. that's why he's uh, called Sleepy Holmes. Like, yo, Tigger be like, yo, 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 is, is Doc, Doc home? No, no, he's coming because me. <laughs> They're like, oh, this nigga. <laughs> You're like, hey, Doc. Oh, that nigga Tigger here. Hey, yo, and ticket, got, ticket, 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 looking for coke. That oh, that's Sneezy, thing. son. Go talk to Sneezy. He got that for you. You try to hide <laughs> in the second floor and this nigga go bust. Boing. I see. <laughs> 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 Tell 
I'm telling you, we need to fucking... In 2021, we're doing a reanimation of the Snow White. And that's Snow actually White pretty good now that I think about it. I mean, it. I feel Snow like... Because Dopey, Dopey's going to be the guy that sells the weed. Sneezy's yeah. selling coke. Dopey. Yep. Uh, Sleepy is, is the Has one edible. that's selling the, the... No, he's selling Xanax, because that puts oh, you right out. Put you right out. Or, or uh, what was the other one? There's Percocets, too, I think, that put you out. Yeah. Percocets. Bashful. So that's like the anti... That's What do, what do they call Zoloft, because it's like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can follow me, follow me. Yo, you know, he's that thing Zoloft. Zoloft, because that's like the antidepressant. So you don't know say he's no I longer bashful. You. We got sleepy, dopey, happy is. It could be uppers, whatever yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Own, uh, the Tiva and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, that nigga sleepy, happy, super, grumpy. He's high, yo. Yeah, yeah, always like high. You're like, hey, he's always let's high. Do this shit. He's grumpy happy. could be he's the crack ready guy. Ready to go. Happy's always happy. No, like, Grumpy, even when they ain't jail, Grumpy happy. with the sales drug. He the nigga that handle the money. Yeah, he's the yeah. money guy. <laughs> yeah. Grumpy frustrated because Grumpy money ain't in there. Money, right. like, money ain't right. Money ain't right. Money ain't right. Yo, Grumpy because like this. One of y'all motherfuckers like, yeah. is light. No. Yeah, yeah. Grumpy's <laughs> like the, the guy from Harlem Nights. Yo, like, Grumpy. Oh, Grumpy. He's the bill collector. He's like, why the He's the bill collector. Yo. He, he, he should be the enforcer. Right. And the, yeah, he's no, the enforcer. He enforce and the top, the top guy, yeah. top guy is Doc. There you go. Because that's the exactly. top guy name. Doc. Doc. Facts, go to Doc. Yo. You go got a Doc. question? Doc. Go to Doc. Go to Doc. He's the one that like, like freaking Breaking Bad. The Doc yeah. knows everything. The yo, I'm different. telling you, we need to call Disney. And be like, yo, wow, we really did. did. We yo. really did flip that. It's we seven drug dealers. We call Disney. We just make our own shit. Yeah. We doing seven white and seven drug dealers. Straight up. <laughs> Matter of fact, call Tyler Perry and be like, yo, we yeah, want to We got something Snow White. for you. We got yo. something for you, bro. That's Listen, it. Well, at the, the end. The only way he'll pick it up is if it has a feel good ending. So we'll yeah, you got to have everybody Snow go White. to church and give yeah. it away to Christ yeah. right at the end. You got to have a feel good ending. Yeah, don't do Wait, drugs. what if we do it like. We're going on Netflix. Be, no, what if we Netflix do it. Netflix don't give a shit. Because of the drug war. There's going to be a drug war. Don't be a menace to South Central. Every so often we just come in and be like, message. Yeah. And then bam. Yeah. The rival's the witch. That's why she poisoned that bitch. I'm a hush y'all. Wait, yes, because her money gets escape, fucked bro. up. Yeah, you go, you go in my territory. I want that bitch for me. But and she had the huntsman. Nobody going. She her. put a contract on her because the huntsman went looking for her ass. Yo, listen, I'm telling you. But the huntsman saw that ass. We need an animal. Like, that's do a rival. So you I attack them where know. They they know that they love Snow White. Yep. So that's how they do. You know what? We're gonna hurt you with really. I just want to let you. I just want you all to know emotionally the power of eyelashes. Because the fucking eyelashes <laughs> and altar then got all of this shit. Bro. Y'all done called all the princesses fake ass bitches. They are. Y'all done turned around Except and Snow White. Snow White the real one. She was the yeah, realest one. She was the real one. We didn't say all like, of them. Honestly, think about all the princesses. Frozen, Frozen, I think Shorty was bad. I think she's like, I got fed up. And then she just said, yo, you know what? Fuck this. And everything got frozen. I'm like, yo, damn. I never seen Frozen. Yo, what? I ain't like Frozen. Jasmine from Aladdin. Jasmine was she like she's a princess, Yo. but Jasmine kept going to the streets yeah. because the Jasmine wanted to interact with the hood she niggas. She wanted the deep. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, she, she got with the hood too. niggas. <laughs> but then she got pissed because she wanted that. She wanted that street rap. The real yeah, motherfucker yeah. she thought he was that he was a hood nigga. But yeah. I'm like, you weren't saying shit when you, you was, was going in the street, to the hood. Right? You want to be in the hood, right? <laughs> but now you find out like, I'm a you know hood nigga. You don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Now it's a problem. You, wanted, oh, oh, you yeah. wanted Prince Ali of Bawa. I got the fucking money now no I want more. Queen. I got an elephant. You, you know what I'm saying? Want, now you want what? it. I got motherfucking Will Smith with me and shit. But now I got a motherfucking issue because all Yo, this shit gone. I even got a blue genie, nigga. Like, like who, who rocking a blue genie, nigga? So Nobody. Man. Nobody rocking blue genies. Call them. Send the pigeons everywhere. I want to know where. The nigga who wants you got a talking parrot. I got a motherfucking blue ass nigga right Thank here. Thank you. Fresh out blue man. And my group. elephant he dance. He look good too. And my elephant dance. You and he it. grant wishes. Yo, you know what I'm saying? What kind of motherfucker you know grant wishes? You, know, you got a shit? tiger. You need to pair it with an elephant. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know that's the stars is a science? You know? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to happen. And Disney know it. I'm pissed off because we finally get a black person. So y'all make the bitch go to work. Yo. Oh, oh, they never oh, made, oh, they never oh, made me oh. happy. Tell yeah. me the Spanish princess. And if you say Pocahontas, I'm coming over this fucking table. The Spanish. Do they have one? Indian. Spanish? I mean, uh, Wait, Spanish is not. 
They didn't have one yet. Right. We don't have one. So before you talk about the black one finally getting you know one, what? Of y'all gonna get it like well, Mulan ain't a princess though. Mm-hmm. Mulan is Japanese. Mulan, yeah, Mulan would even a princess. You gonna make me come over this table? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make me come over this table? I thought the Indian is the closest. Yeah, you never really did have if y'all a play black princess. You know, no. I mean, Jasmine's probably the closest y'all gonna get no. to a brown skin no. princess. No, that's not. Well, that's not. They, I look. mean, the chick that we had that had to go to work. <laughs> she they chose probably to. had they probably had this the Spanish one and the frog and, and she go work somebody the in the back line. room just wasn't happy like I don't like it why? you wanna know why cause Spanish women don't like other Spanish women so if you have a Puerto Rican making a storyboard someone who's Dominican may not like the story so if a Dominican's making it, someone who's Mexican may not like the story if a Mexican's making it, someone who's Cuban may not like the story Black people say something. Just say black. Uh, say something. Yo, I'm half Dominican and Haitian. I've seen it first half. Does she have right? Mexican half so, Cuban, so you know yo, what's up. If it, it's yo, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is. I don't understand it because guys will fuck anything. So whatever. That's facts. But yeah. for whatever reason, if we mistake a woman to be another Latin race, then whatever she is, that's it. That's it. It may not all the time happen. But for me, personally speaking, I've noticed it's a thing. I don't know why. Maybe you can help us out. But I don't know. Maybe the other gentleman can help me out. Maybe I'm wrong. But I've noticed it's a thing. If, if me and somebody say, oh, you have an accent. Are you Jamaican? No, Haitian. Bet. Cool. That's it. I'm like, but if it's the other way around. So what are you? Like, it's kind of, are you Dominican? Oh, no. no, no. Oh, how dare you? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Well, Not I, the D word. Oh, I said the P. Oh, like, I don't get it. I like all the food. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They all eat. Oh my God. All good. Ass. Dude, he said he like all the food. All the food is all good. Food is good. All of it is good. The homies, I, I chill with all of them. They don't ever have a problem. If I mistake the homies for one or the other, like, eh, they ain't really give a shit. Like, yeah, like. I'm, they have a Puerto Rican flag on their arm or on their car or some shit like that. Oh, you know they Puerto Rican. You know. Oh yeah, you're gonna know a Puerto Dominican. Rican. Probably the same they even thing. got a shirt, Yo. chain, flag, air conditioner. That's it. I mean, uh, one of them eight, one of them um, <laughs> Yo. things that has an air freshener. Air freshener. You, air freshener. you, you know, know they Puerto Rican. You know crown. They gotta have a crown. Crown. Right. You will know. You will not mistake you'll a Puerto Rican person for anybody else. You know yes. they Puerto Rican. I'm in Plant City. There's Spanish people everywhere. Those, no, those I are Mexicans. I can tell who's a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> it's Plant City. It's Mexican. Yo, I can tell who's a Mexican and who's not. There's Spanish people everywhere. But you can tell which Spanish person. <laughs> so, are Is they Spanish or are they Latin American? See, that's the difference. Yo, that's, I don't even get jump into that. No. Just saying. Like, yo, that's that, I'm that's just y'all saying. battle. Because I've been corrected I'll leave that, either I'll leave time. That shit I've been like, corrected. No, I've, no. I've, I've, I've just posted innocently, like, thinking that I was being, like, friendly with the Latinos and Latinas and shit. And I'm like, yo, here's <laughs> a, a Spanish, blah, 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 or a Latin, and then somebody coming. Wait a minute. Ty, I know. I didn't even know that was this motherfucking thing. So I'm like, all right. I ain't saying shit. I was going to post, look, uh, it's a brown skinned person. Look, yay. Something good happened. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Clap, clap, yeah, that's clap. It. Oh, it. That's it. That's it. I find out. Look, all right. Well, look, well, uh, Selena. Ah, Mexico. Yeah, all right, Mexico on my emoji. Put the Mexico flag. And, and that's it. That's it. I say Latino. I say Hispanic. I say Spanish. I say shit. I'm on my fucking business. And whatever race that, that <laughs> thing is that, you he know. He said he mind his fucking business. That's in my, it. In my business. I used to. Like my woman Puerto Rican. And part Dominican. Let me mention that. <laughs> I get to hear the whole family lineage. Like, listen, I'm not Dominican. First off, Dominican in my family is my grandma. And, and not just my grandma. But, uh, I'm like, all right, okay, all right, all right. You win, you win, you win. I ain't saying shit. I ain't saying shit. I don't speak Spanish. I'm part Dominican. I don't even say I'm Dominican at times. I just be like, yo, I ain't, I ain't gonna say shit. I ain't gonna say shit. Because if I say Dominican as a black man looking man, shit, I'm gonna get, yeah? Who? Who in your family? Where? Why? I gotta, I gotta just start speaking Spanish before a motherfucker. I could have never even been Dominican or any fucking in. And as long as I'm speaking Spanish, <laughs> the motherfucker will fuck with you. I see it happen all the time. I see motherfuckers stand in line. 
Not even know the motherfucker in front of him, white as shit, speaks Spanish fluently. All of a sudden, the whole time they're waiting in line, motherfucker here. Oh, so you're, you're from where? Oh, I was there with my wife and blah, blah, blah. Ah, como esta? Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> bueno. No, 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 no. And then, like, oh, shit, they're best friends. But it's true. They're I've seen best times friends. When you've gone to the store... Best and it's friends. like the Spanish chick who's cashing out. Well, Spanish people. But all of a sudden, the moment she know you Spanish, her whole vibe is different. Yo, it's a wrap. It's her a rap. vibe is different. Yeah. My vibe, her is, vibe not, is different. I still don't like people. You but know? that's fine. That's no, fine. It's cool, though, because you got a relationship. Can I do the same thing? I'm Haitian. I hear somebody speaking Creole. But actually, it's not the same thing, though. Because people don't celebrate when you hear Haitian. You know, it's like, when well, you can say Spanish, like, oh. No, no. Know. So the problem Nobody with that, Haitians. so the problem with that is, and this is just my own personal, this is me, this is my own thought process is, we're such a blended we're such a blended country, right? Where we make it so convenient for people not to have to learn the language. So now you're gonna make it my job to help you translate to do your job to the person who won't I am just trying to buy my groceries. I don't give a shit that their total is veintisiete dollars con dieciocho centavos. Like I don't wanna sit there and and translate. And so I'll be standing in line and the lady cashing out in front of me is like, oh, no entiendo. And the lady looks at me and she's like, can you translate? No! No Nintendo, that's me because, neither. That's because you no be like, Nintendo. I don't work I'm here. I'm not, I don't work like, here. Like, I don't work here. Yo. But you that same way when you go, got to cash, you got to do your own groceries and shit, and you like, it's bullshit. Why I got to work today? Damn straight. <laughs> I was planning on being off, but then the only thing that was open was the self-checkout, so I guess I'm clocked in today. You got to work, son. Well, but no, so, the other thing, the people so, behind you that don't know what you're saying, like shit. If I knew what the fuck they say, you know what I'm saying? Because they like, so, they probably talking so about gonna, me. Is that right? So right? let me let me go back to kind of what you were saying. It it really just takes the different people because, like me, I'm half Cuban, I'm half Mexican, but my family is so blended. I have. Um, a Puerto Rican sister-in-law that showed me how to cook her style. I have a Guatemalan aunt. So to us, when people get it confused, and I'll, I don't know how many times so people come So you cook Puerto Rican food? I cook all of it. I mean, black people just freaking feel <laughs> attract to you. You can have a black aura around you. Because I know it's like, <laughs> I thought Puerto Ricans were black. Growing up in New York. I did too. In Chicago. I thought they were black. I just thought they were Because they just as loud as us. Because, yo, everywhere, yo, literally <laughs> everywhere I went, that's where they were at. No. That's not true. Yo. That is true, No, because bro. some Mexicans do not act don't like fuck. that. No, 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 they don't. No, I get that aspect. But what I'm saying is hardy, you can though. get us, you can get any race to that point. Any Spanish race. Any yeah, Latin, just bring beer. I promise you, you play a pop-off on the wrong one, you're going to get that no, reaction. Bro. So it's just something. But I always say, like, with Puerto Ricans to me, we're always the closest to black people. That's how, yeah. From my, experience, from my experiences, they both act they more like us than anything else. Because Puerto like Rico's Cubans part have of the always United been States. more reserved, and Mexicans just do their own thing. They're not even involved in your know, bullshit. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, but a Puerto it's Rican, not, yeah, it's if you like, walking down the block and you walk a bunch of Puerto Ricans, they're like, hey, Poppy, what you doing here? You can walk by a Mexican, they don't even say shit. A Cuban just look at you like, what the fuck is you? Mm-hmm. But a Puerto Rican, oh, they gonna talk. That's but it. we do the same thing. If we don't know you, you on the block, we gonna be like, yo, who the fuck is you? That's it. All I know is Puerto Ricans and niggas. That's all I know. <laughs> Just like Santa. <laughs> That's all I know. If Santa, yeah, Puerto Rican. One thing I know. Puerto Rican. The only thing I'm say. Niggas. <laughs> you a mess. Cause like, Don't forget the autumn shirts, people. Santa's a nigga. Man, I, they just cool as a fan when we look. We just you know each other forever, man. Every every Puerto Rican I know, I'm I'm just like, like my wife is Puerto Rican. Like, like, it's fucking Puerto Rican. I don't know. I don't know what to tell people. I'm just like, they just freaking Spanish speaking niggas. I don't know. But anyway, that's the nationality part of the show. We ended that transition. You know, for this show, we probably gonna need a phone line because you know, oh you yeah, want to call in and be call. like, "Oh, I'm not a nigga." <laughs> First off, <laughs> hey, listen, because I'm just thinking about what Gino just said, listen, listen. and I was like, any Puerto Rican that's listening, they're gonna be like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." Hey, what is the number to the show? Because I'm going to call in because good. I am not a nigga. And, that's and my funny. eyelashes look good and on fleek every day. That's so, good. Yeah, because yeah, you got 24 other ones to pick that's from. That's because you know that, those Puerto Ricans are looking at niggas as a color. That's why. I look at it as an Our action. Way of life, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it could be negative. It could be positive. It's all how you people look at it. It don't matter how I feel or how you feel. It don't matter the motherfuckers that kill people for racist reasons or whatnot. It's just... And how I grew up, 
when I said nigga, it went either way. So it was like, yo, like if you feel that way, then that's how you feel. I'm not saying, oh, every person you're, you're a nigga. Nah, no, I'm just mean like there's niggas, niggas you're like everywhere. But you know I always tell saying? people like you got to be able to turn a nigga shit on and off sometimes. You can't be exactly twenty four seven. Yeah, you know what I'm like, saying. Don't, Everybody got a nigga. Don't moment. be nigga twenty four seven. Don't walk up into the bank and want a loan and you you still nigga. Wait, but this is 2020. Like, we don't have a choice but to. Like, let me help you out. No, but your voice is getting away. Your oh, voice. yeah, everyone's gangbanging now. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody gangbanging. Oh, no, every right, time right, I right, walk right. into Let's a fucking... Let's go into the bank. Yeah. Facts. Give me your money. Like, Facts. I feel like every time I walk into any place and I got to put the mask on, yo, my dad had a hoodie up. Yo, I feel, I feel like, like about the rock this wild, Yo, like the Wild West all over yeah. again. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Do I trade my money get shot for again? That's I what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So it's like, now everyone want to walk. Why we all look like that Trayvon is Martin? Why, yeah. That is why I know what time the sun sets every day because I'm going to make sure my ass inside the house before that. But that's I'm walking around with a hoodie and my damn but to me and, and, and that's why I like and shit if we're gonna go there let's go there I don't wear it I don't wear the mask I, if I have to do it somewhere you know go to wherever they, they make it a big deal except for family if it's an emergency whatever just to avoid some shit I understand I'll throw in some shit like my hand or whatever but <laughs> I'm just saying I just don't do this shit I just you know walking around saying, like the grocery store <laughs> I, I already did it put shit in the car with his hand on his mouth yeah, like, I, I, I've done it just walking in though when I'm in I'm done that's it so, yo good luck talking <laughs> to a nigga with, with unkempt hair fucking with Tim's on that looks like so uh, it's a good conversation to ask so Gino I'm just not doing so it so I know a lot of people have had the, the concerns of like people that have it and people that don't mm. so what made you have the conscious decision to not decide to wear the mask like is it something because, is this, uh, is this first th- off it was when it was personally me I wasn't being vocal about it because I'm like alright if people challenge me how do I defend this scientifically how do I defend this with facts how do I mention you know how how am I going to defend myself when people are saying oh you got followers and blah 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 so I had to look at people who are scientists and are pathologists and have a history of doing this aside what people are telling me I have to listen to. If I go to a doctor right now and they tell me son, I don't want to hear this, they get a second opinion. So why am I getting criticized for having a second opinion and always offering the data? So now if the person say, okay, even the man that's telling people to wear masks, you can, the masks don't prevent the COVID. It helps if you're coughing, if you're this, if you have it, blah, blah, blah. But he says people touch their mask. You don't know where the mask comes from. If you have a mask, this air package, there's air seals all over the shit where you, it still gets yeah. in. It says it on the package. It don't prevent it. No, we so don't. why am don't I being told I can't go do regular Like, here's the reality. If you really want to protect yourself, you need to be wearing gloves. You need to be wearing the Because if you, go to the, if you go to the grocery you store. You need a hazmat suit. And you need to, like, do the, the, the checkout and you touching the Yo. machine and everybody touching. Okay. all right. Come on, So now, now for years. And they're not had, wiping that shit down. All right, and but let's go further. Groceries. Let's go further. Even the groceries, even the groceries further. at the grocery yes. store that you're touching. Yeah. Okay. And so, we've done it. We, we. Because you, you pick, shit, you, you pick, so, okay. you pick shit up I and look know, at it well, and then put it back down. So I'm a germaphobe well before there was any kind so of So that means you wash your hands, right? I wash my hands. I have hand Boom. sanitizers. Like we, I've got all of that. Common sense, right? But what I'm saying is I, I, it, it, when it's one of the things that I think about. Like, So we went to the store. And what happens? We brought a bunch of stuff. We had a bunch of stuff. As you get to the cart, you go, oh, I don't know that I really need this. You didn't wash your hands before. Nope. You, nope. you grabbed it right no, out and you back. put it somewhere else. You put it right back. The next person that's going to stock that shelf from whatever you took out yes. of your car, they're not washing their hands. Everybody. But that's why I'm that's why I'm the person that I am where I'm like, look, if I'm I'm way too close to someone that I haven't been around or whatever, I'm going to take and my that's precautions. Natural. But that's me just being a germaphobe. In general. But you would think that they would also say if you're going to wear a mask, you should also wear surgical gloves. <clears throat> because that way, if you touch stuff, you don't have to worry about so that issue, either. Right, but the issue that came on this first hit and everybody started to wear gloves, people were using the same gloves. They grabbed the gloves, took them off of their hands, put them in their pocket. Well, you say Turned mask every day. The, I wash mine. See, I, again... This is where, where it changes is I'm the germaphobe. So you're asking the wrong person as a germaphobe. I wear this today. When I get home, I take it off. It gets washed. 
I have another one set up for tomorrow. I don't wear the same ones. I got good. You know what I'm saying? If you this. have to do this, whenever you touch the doors, you don't touch the door handle with your original hands. You have either something that goes in between it. You wash your hands. Otherwise, you're washing your hands in the bathroom, touching the door. You got all that damn germs right back in your hand. And those but are the bathroom is, germs, the worst ones, too. This is a yeah. germaphobe telling you right. my way of Dude, life. So right. for me, this wasn't a change in my day to day. And you. And that's good for you and for the people that's out there. It's still bullshit how they're doing this. Because if you're already a germophobe or whatnot, you're already cleaning yourself. If you're trying to prevent it, you'd be promoting, okay, cleaning things, wiping things down and stuff uh-huh. like that. All right. But what about vitamin C? What uh-huh. about zinc? What about all the other th- remedies that they mentioned are helping people? And yet you censor people. If this was something that you was trying to prevent, why are you censoring people that are offering information that's supported by facts and data? And that's the thing. If it was something that was truly to help people and protect people and make sure everyone's going to be safe, why wouldn't you let people have the access to the information so they can see what helps them? Because everyone's body's different. You can't go ahead and mask. You, you tell everybody, hey, wear a mask, when everyone's body isn't the same. People have other issues with their body where they need to breathe and they need to get to where they got to get to without being harmed or abused you know, vocally or whatever by, oh, you don't have a mask? Well, mm, 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 oh, no, oh, how, how dare you? This bullying. How many people just don't want to go out at all because so, of the simple fact that they feel like some stranger they don't know are going to tell them what they should be doing with their own medical life? Who is like? Who are you to tell me what to do with my health? If you feel some type of way and you feel like you're you're gonna be sick, or you know, wear your mask. But if I'm feel I'm healthy or whatnot, I have to believe people who have told me many lies before. The same people who has given me many medical ailments or whatnot, many medical drugs. All these veterans that I know that's taking plane. We just had a podcast right now of a whole bunch of veterans telling us all their their drugs that they take, and all they needed was weed. And all their friends that they lost that killed themselves because their body couldn't react to all these chemicals. So now all these people who are already dealing with that pre-existing condition, my godfather who had other issues, and they put people who had COVID in his nursing home. So I know well about the virus exists. However it came to be, it is what it is. But we had SARS, H1N1, Ebola, many things that are way worse than COVID-19. And yet our bodies were able to react to it. Some people, they caught it, what we did. They, they went wherever they had to go. They get fixed. They came out, boom. But they never told them they can't see their loved ones for the holidays. They never told them they can't see their dead people that's about to die in the, in the, in the wherever, wherever they're sick at. Yeah. They never told them you can't go to a funeral. They never told church people they can't go together to go pray. But at the same time, I could go to Walmart. I could go to a strip club. I could go to all this shit and big box chains. I just DJed at a mall yesterday. But you're going to tell my my family they can't open their, their businesses? Then you're going to tell them, oh, you want that $1,200 check that Trump or whoever the hell is going to give you? You need to take a shot? You know where all that money went for the stimulus? All the stimulus? Da, da, da. It went to all the big businesses. That Trump had a nice little uh, convention. Da, da, da. CVS, Target, all the motherfucking big chains. They told everybody else to shut down. And it's the working class, the middle class that get this country running. So you're it's right. not about left and right. They both fucked up the country. So people need to go ahead and pay attention to what's happening. Because whether Trump's in, back in, or Biden's back in, we're still fucked. Because why are you going to tell me to take a vaccine that's never been tested ever before and telling everybody got to take it, even with evidence showing that it's going to alter our DNA for what? Why? It's not. And, and then when you post about it, you censor me and tell me, oh, fact, in, fact checking independent. Who the fuck are these fact? Who are these independent fact checkers? How about we fact check these motherfuckers? You're right. Because if I'm posting something that's backed by scientific data, who are you to censor my post? Or tell anybody, oh, well, read about COVID. Da, da. People need to understand this is tyranny. If you, if we have a public market. If I'm the only one that owns this digital market, motherfucker, who am I to tell people you can't share this, share that? I'm the only one that owned this bitch. If there's multiple Facebooks or whatnot, okay. But people have businesses on Facebook. But you could take their money for ads. You could take this and you could take that. Spend your whole time to take that shit out of people's accounts. But when they want to post something about their business, what if my business was about American flags? Or what if it was uh, anti-Black Lives Matters? Yeah. Anti-whatever. You're going to censor me because how I feel? Where does it end? So people need to understand that they're getting too close to our personal lives. Stay where you're at. That's why this country was founded. In the beginning, they said they were radical. Oh, you're trying to break off of England. Blah, 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 blah. They even fucking celebrated for 4th of July. 
But the moment we start talking about it right now, you're censored, you're radical, you're this. So all you motherfuckers that got a problem with me saying you need to have your own privacy, your own freedom, and your own right, if I want to live the way I live, and hey, I take my chances with COVID, fuck you! If you want to go ahead and do what you want to do with your life, do it. I don't attack you for that. But why must I be attacked for feeling how I feel? When did that change? Because I know in the 60s, just a few years ago, that was an issue just to fucking drink water. All right? Yeah. Just to drink water. And now for people to say, oh, if I have a, uh, if I talk about this president or that president, I'm a neo-Nazi or I'm this. I'm not Trump. I don't give a fuck if he says this or he says that. I choose because of what I chose. I don't give a fuck about the other guy either. But hey, they say I'm a citizen. You want to practice this? You're talking all this shit? Vote. Then I voted for Obama. Oh, you, no, 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 you voted because he's black. Oh, word? I voted for Trump. Oh, because oh, oh, you're racist? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm Haitian. I have my own personal reasons. However you have is fine. I ain't going to distance myself because you voted another guy. Where the fuck that happened? But we live in a country where it's like it's different now. And that's why I said yeah. people need to have their own personal way how they stand to whatever it is that they stand up for and our kids need to have that opportunity to choose like the, that's we the thing is like you don't have that opportunity to choose you anymore because be everything is being chosen for you because the, the, here's a reality the whole freedom of speech is gone let's dead. get let's get it's realistic dead. there is no more there is no such thing as freedom of speech no you don't because if you're a celebrity or, or a person in general Kevin Hart. and you make a you say something that you feel in your heart is what you want to say. But then a soccer mom from Minnesota is like a Karen. There you go. Okay, a Karen is like, oh, well, he shouldn't have said that. And now it's like you getting blown up to be this motherfucker that you obviously are not. Yep. But because you made one comment, That's it. now you're a person that hates this all the time. But you're like, whoa. I just was like, I had, had a moment. It was a freedom of speech moment. I said what I felt at the time. That does not mean that I am this person all the time. You cannot do that anymore. Yep. And because you see the what moment, they do to them, right? Yeah. They do that to anybody who has any. If you a person with an independent mind, you are not allowed to have an independent mind anymore. You know that is gone. That? That's gone. You know how to counter that? Say, fuck you. I'm going to say it anyway. But and no, I'm creating but they my own don't. platform. Because even when Nick Cannon was, Straight he up. was like, oh, I'm going to say about well, the Jewish people, whatever like that. But then that shit backfired but on his he, ass. And he lie? had to fucking apologize. He, oh, because he, he didn't needed, he, he, no, he, he didn't buckled. have to. He but buckled. reason why he did, because his management company was like, yo, you know, Jewish people kind of own part of the company. So, but that's yeah. why fucking have right. to. But so here's the thing: he should have never apologized. He should have. Okay. That, that's my. But let's say this right or wrong. Going okay, but he also but he also got on. bills to pay. He yes, they, but let's also be real, right? Y'all can walk around here and go fuck this, fuck that, because at the end of the day, y'all gonna go to another job tomorrow and get your paper one way or another. When he turns around and some of these celebrities say that and they don't have sponsorship, that's them losing all of their jobs. That's called so, slavery. Because in this, uh, in this country... Then you don't to call my ass no, no, to because no. I'm going to take my ass that, to work. No, no, no. And if they turn around and tell me I got to say I'm sorry so that I can like, pay my mortgage, then damn it, take me back, and that's man. That's how you feel. That's what and it is. That, but that, what I'm no, saying is we have taking out of context. limits yeah. to you're taking out of context. It's <coughs> Blinded, not slavery. It's no, no, no. being able to speak your mind and have... I understand. Sometimes I say, I have if my moments. If you feel like you need something in okay, order to survive, me, what me, is that? I get it, but let me tell you, right? So I go through my parts of my days in my life that I say my filter is done. And that means I don't have the way to smooth something up. I'm just It's just going to come out how it comes out. And maybe those are the times where I'm like, okay, that's, that came out way too harsh. And I have to remember what my job is. If I'm a salesperson and I'm doing this at a part of my job, that's going to affect me my name, my reputation, and how I'm going to reestablish myself. Yeah. I understand what you guys are saying, but if I am a celebrity, I am a talk host, and I'm walking around, and now you get to categorize me off of what I said on my worst things, I cannot turn around and go somewhere else and say, I'm going to go ahead and build myself somewhere else because this already came out. This is your portfolio. You're only as good as your last comment, your last news. That's why it was so hard for them to rebuild themselves. So unfortunately, this is all of us as society's fault because we gave them the power because we're like, we want to see you on TV. So that's us doing that to them. So we can't turn around and be like, oh, you shouldn't have apologized. Yeah, you should have because you're not doing it just for you. You're sitting there going, well, shit, if I don't apologize, I can't go on there for all of my fans that support me year on end. But you know what? So As society, it's our own fault 
that we made these people it, fucking it, role it, models. It, it, and so the because about, they're not role models. Okay, so you're right. giving them a catch-22. But wait, wait, wait. You're, you're a celebrity and this said. is who you are. Right. Back to what you said, though. What... Because you're right. Because you're not a celebrity. He is a celebrity. Correct. He has a platform. If you're speaking on the context of black empowerment and whatnot, that means you need got to be prepared for the sacrifices. You got to be prepared for the backlash. The, the, you know, the, and it will be back. All right. So, right. so now, since you already put it out there, you know what's going to happen when you say stuff like he knew what was going to happen when he said that before the next day happened. He knew it. He continued that show. So I'm saying for him to be at the point where he's saying Viacom should give me this and this and that because he know he has ownership or whatnot. Why wouldn't you take your brand and create it somewhere else? But what? But they still not gonna give you your job a, back, right? You but, apologize. But they still ain't giving you a job. I back. understand that, but you're taking the aspect that we can turn around and say something fucked up today and still be able to come back from it tomorrow. When you're giving a celebrity that kind of rap, they don't have a backup plan because what is their backup plan? I'm gonna go make another media company. Well, that's his you fault. Yeah, but what I'm saying <laughs> is you can't make another media company because you still need sponsorship. If I'm turning around as a celebrity saying, you know what, fuck you, NBC, I'm gonna go to ABC. ABC is gonna be like, no, fuck <laughs> we you. just saw what you did. To NBC. You know what I'm saying? So you can't get just like there's a right to free right. speech. Exactly. is also so, a right for these okay. people that own these companies Correct. to say, fuck you. So you can be upset when you go, oh, I can't believe Nick Tan and Kevin Hart, all of them them backed out and sold themselves out and offered an apology because you know what at the end of the day that's their they money that's wrong. how they have to get their money My thing but they is, weren't wrong I, I, I get it that they weren't ways. wrong it was it was just them ways. giving it some a people people about money, I get, some people about morals right. that's the bottom but line so I get that they were it's not wrong about money, it's and I get that morals. is what they feel but sometimes in the heat of a moment you can get pissed and say something and be like I apologize for how it came out but I meant what I said that doesn't apply to them like that. But don't apply to anybody no more these days. No. It don't apply to us. I can turn around and look at all and of you and be like, And then the cycle continues. Right. Yeah. So but, in order for that to stop, you need to have people to stand up to that. And that's where I'm getting at. Because regardless of whatever reason people want to apologize, our kids, like my kids, I'm not teaching them to just buckle down whenever they feel some kind of way. I'm saying, before you say what you say, think very hard. Because... You may not be able to take it back. Oh, and you're not going it, it don't matter if you say sorry and blah, blah, blah. It's done. So be responsible for that. Me, I'm not going back off of what I say. I, you know how many f- people I lose? Unfriend and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Because I, I refuse to stop saying whatever or whatever the case may be. I'm aware of my consequences. But because I know I'm speaking from my heart, I'm not speaking ill will. I am refuse to buckle. Yes, it may mean less streams, less money, less people buying my shit and people going to shows and this and that, watching podcasts and all that. But who am I to my people that was eating mud, waiting for aid from the whole world that's making videos and songs? Yeah, yeah, we're going to take care of you after this earthquake. And Puerto Rico know what I'm talking about. They just had theirs and still keep having theirs. So who am I to back down when people that's been waiting for aid, they, were, they, they never got it. But now no, they say, hey, you know what? The person that's standing up for me, when nobody else will, is still here. Why? Because regardless, when they told... You know why this place is here right here? Because they told us we couldn't say what we wanted to say. Lo and behold, years later, we got platforms for other people to say what they feel who had the same thing happen to them. Alex Jones, they make fun of me, but oh, Alex Jones, that guy used to be all over the place. Apple, Google, this and that. This is the man crazy, the this, da, da. When court, everything dismissed, this and that. This day, to this day, now the president is having shows on this nigga shit. Fuck if you like him or not. It's an example of a person. Any one of us, no matter what color, can make it. No matter how people feel. The guy Trump wasn't a politician. He gave money to left, right, this, that, whatever. NAACP, this, that, patriots, whatever the case is. Still, it didn't stop the hate. It didn't matter who he gave money from. Who, to this and that. Whatever. You saw what he did with those black people did that? He was young. He was this. It don't give a fuck. It don't matter. He did it. He pushed that shit. He wanted those people dead. He this. He that. It don't fucking matter. But the point is, somebody like that, that got all that hate and all that love, and still could become a president, still could have a number one show telling people they're fired, if they don't do what you want them to do. So we forgot about image. But that shows you how America Obama. truly is. Oh, but look at Obama. Yeah, you did you know America Obama is. before he came in politics? Yes, I did. 
I didn't. I did. You was in Chicago. Yeah. I, I did. Didn't. I knew Yo, who I, was. I, I was no surprised. Idea. Yeah. But you know what? It didn't stop me from. I voting. didn't know about his wife, but I didn't know about no, him. No, but so here, here, here's, here's what voting. it comes to: is the a imagery. society a, apart from society. Here's yeah, reality. Obama had fucked up policies before he was president. I get that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at the time. You know what I'm saying? Just like everything else. Nobody wants to do their research. It's easier for us to talk about data, but we're only going to go with what you show us on the news. Yeah. And they that's not, that's the else. problem. Like, here's the reality. Even right now, where we have Joe Biden and what the Camilla, Camilla, I never say her name right. Harris. Kamala Harris. Woo. How we have them in, as our next president and vice president. But here's the reality. The, pre, the vice president that we love so much because she's half, what, Asian? To yo, have black? Half Indian. She had, I'm, I'm sorry, was it half, was it half Indian? Indian? Yo, she's, yo, I'm sorry, half Indian and half black? Before she became even the vice president, yo, she had some fucked up things. Yeah, she, with had court. Yo, she had no problems putting motherfuckers in court. Yeah, no matter what skin color it was, but especially minorities, she had no problem putting the fucking hand down. Yo. But the problem is that the moment a person of color comes into office, we, we automatically them. assume as minorities that they're going to help us. And that goes back to my original comment. <coughs> it's because... You voted just for appearance. Yeah. You didn't do your own data. Because she's a woman of color. And we assume because of that, she's going to be helping mm-hmm. women. Or she's going to be helping people of color. People. But here's the reality. She fucking will not do that. So people, yeah. here's my reality, right? doesn't matter who's in any one of our office. I don't trust politics. I don't politics. give a fuck. I don't trust politics anyway. They tell yeah. you what they want to say when sure. they come in. Now, when I did my vote, before I voted, I turned around and I looked everything up. I, okay, but also I'm a little weird, right? Because I'm also the person that would read the fine print of a commercial. Like, I'm the one that's like, pause. Pause. Read that. It's a what? 300% finance. Sure, I sure do. Do I not? <laughs> I do. I want, I am one. I'm not even joking. I'm the one that's like, pause. You oh, so that? you probably had fun with all those uh, medical I, commercials. Yeah. The side oh, effects. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, whoa. Read that shit. Look at that. Look at that, look at that like, side effect. It down, down. Down. It I'm like, so. Shingles, it might lose some toes. But that's the thing. But that's the thing. <laughs> you go, oh, this is great! It is ambient. It helps you sleep, Yo, but you're gonna have a but, runny nose and you're gonna have a runny ass. There, there but there, there it is. So I'm sitting there and I'll pause and I'll be like, "So, do you want a runny ass, a runny nose, or do you want to be able to sleep?" But you'll be able to sleep though. You only be able to sleep. You might be you know, good, but, but you're uh, you might be shit. Why you sleep? But you're sleeping. But results may vary. So you might not. You <laughs> might get all of it. You might get all of it. Yo, that's a great name for a show. Results, results, results may, vary. may vary. I like that, right? Because let's be real. 100% be real. So I looked at all the facts. I looked at who they were and what they had to offer. And that's what made me do it. Because when we look at the data... One thing about data is it can be manipulated to look and give you whatever you want it to do. We can exclude some of the numbers to make this look better. We can include numbers look to at make the election. this look worse. Look at the election. That's, called, that's, what that's the election benefit day? of data. No, you right. That we is still the don't know benefit what's going of data. On. What do you want it to crazy. look like? Look, either way, regardless of however, I feel like, I mean, because my thing is I'm used to leaving this country. And that's a beautiful thing, which I feel like every child born in America, like if I become president, I'm going to tell you straight. No, we ain't never going to become president. I'm going to need to, let's be real. Either way, if I become president, because Kanye West was running for it, so I'm going to see why I can't. He's going to be the president and translator. So That's what it is. So now, when I become president, I'm just saying, every child born here or a citizen here or whatever, you made it here, you swam here, however, what you do, whatever you got to do, you're here. We're going on the house. We're going to send your ass out the country. We have two weeks out this country. Third world. My military protect your kids. And then come back over here. Tell me how much you don't like this country. That's what I want to do. I want you people to, if you don't like the country, whatever the case is, now you have an experience outside. Oh, oh, And then ooh, now you. Right here, right here, right here. Please, me, me, please, me, please. me, 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 me. Because I'm going to need, I'm going to need But I'm going to need you, I'm going to need you to yeah. send them. Yeah. Not to, Okay. Not to Cancun. So that's cool so far. I'm going to need you to go to, like, El Rincón de Dolores. Like, I'm going to need you to go to the you place. You need to get a sim there for us. Send my fucking Newport Richie for no. a day. <laughs> now, go to Haiti. And like, PR. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I'm going to need you to go to a place where water falls one day and not the other day. And then you have to learn how to rational your water. That's how what they I get mean. to take your electricity. Exactly. How the army gets and to come into I mean. your house and takes your rights. How the police gets how. But they that's operate. what they want right now. So, so like, show them how other so, people live. But don't. But when you say you're gonna get them out of the country, 
Don't make yeah. it set up like it's a good house. We're going to take you to the true, yeah, true. Yeah, but, yeah, but they got to. The and you got to work. That's it. Like, either and way, you gotta work they got to experience how people live their regular life. I don't think that two weeks is enough, like, though. But, but the thing, but the thing no, is, you got to start it. small. Because then you got to hear people bitching like, ah, I'm American. Why do I got to Listen, they ain't going to be that way that long. We're going to bring kids back. But either way, if you want to go with them, you can pay too. Well, I don't guarantee that. All right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> don't guarantee the return. We're not gonna say they're gonna come back. Hey, look, we hey, don't send them. Early, Way results results yeah. may vary. The whole point. The whole point. Yeah, we're gonna sign waivers. So, uh, so that's, that's a waiver. Oh my they God. Will they will come back. Just like the maybe, vaccine. just not like maybe how you waiver. got them. The game, the shows. I want to go back to the stadium. Put a waiver. Can we Look, ask if them? If I get COVID, you, I won't sue no. your ass. Okay. Can, bye can bye. we ask Even them though. how many percent they have to be? Like, if I send my son at 100%, do I have to get him back 100% like no. I sent him? Or can no. I get him about 70 or 70? Sign a waiver. 70 or 70. Sign a waiver. That's not my job. That's if not he, your if problem no more. If he comes no back more. a finger short, yo. Dang. I told him to stay the way you're supposed to stay. Waiver. This is why we can't have nice things. Waiver. <laughs> but it's just, Waiver. Listen, if people are real, though, the whole point is be real with people. Give them a choice. Give them an option. Then people won't be so mad. Give them an option. That's it. Like, don't sit here and say, hey, this is what you're going to do, and that's that. You got to love the country. Right, look, nigga, what? Like, no, I just live here, bitch. I don't love here. You know what I'm saying? Like, give people an option. Give people that, 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 like if you want to do this, do that. If you want to do that, do this. If you don't want to, don't vote. Don't fucking vote. Or whatever the case is. But the same thing with the mask or or vaccine or whatever it is. Like give people options. They're giving people options to be their genders. What do you want to be? A dog? A cat? What the fuck you want to be now? Like I go places and they you 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 see that on the sheet. Like not dog cat, but they're like, well, what would How you like you to put? Before it was just like, yo, boy, girl, you got balls, tits, ass. What you got, nigga? And now it's like, hey. What do you go by? Uh, I feel like a rock today. Like this well, I identify like, myself as an old white man. So yo, I mean, listen, this is yo, me. you might get special you know? deals. I be telling my lady like, yo, listen, stop putting my fucking name down when we sign it up for shit. Cause I feel like, yo, my name's in the database. Like mm, Eugene Alexis, mm, Keila Nigger, mm, nope, no loan or whatever the case may be. That's me, <laughs> paranoia. It is what it is. But I know this a lot. Let's say I don't pay for insurance, and then one month or whatever. <gasps> You didn't pay for insurance. Yo, quick. Oh, in the mail. Hey, nigga. We want to we spend your shit. You didn't pay. I know you didn't pay. You better make sure you're in state that insurance. We're taking your shit. If you don't pay for that, we're going to take everything. You're going to Yeah. Other people? For ages. I feel like that escalated really quickly without paying. <laughs> for real. Did it not? Did, I you're going to die. You're going to die. Wait a second. But I just. I it's just. In the, <laughs> checks in the mail. He must have <laughs> got the general. Okay, like, I don't uh, understand. Geico don't do that for Geico. me. I mean, they I miss Geico payments. They'll just, they'll just send a okay. little hey, thing. Hey, just want to let you know. You should have paid it. But they was okay been, with it. But don't, let the can, don't let them cancel your insurance. But Gino got I the mean, general. No. And they're going to bring Shaq. It, and Shaq like, where my motherfucking will, money? They will I mean. send you that letter. And you be thinking it's like, well, what is this? But it says Florida Department. Once I see department, I'm already fucking paranoid. I'm like, <laughs> like, no. I'm going to say FBI. I'm dead. Like, like once I saw department. I'm just saying, oh. Gino, Gino going to be one of the insurance that So now if you ever. Open the door. <laughs> I didn't even read highway. Right open the door. I didn't like, even read highway. I just no. heard Florida department. Ah, Who gets mail anymore? Gino opened the door. He opened the ladder and said, open the door. He's like, oh, shit, they here. <laughs> Take them niggas outside waiting for Gino because he pays insurance. That's it. I mean, so it, I feel like that escalated. I feel like that escalated very quickly. <laughs> I'm just and saying. I feel like you should quote your insurance out. Any insurance agents out there, please give us a call because Word. apparently this shit got real fast. Yeah, be careful, y'all. Don't let that shit cancel. Apparently. Pay your shit. Pay your shit. I, n- I don't know about other colors, but at least in Wait, my, my I have questions. How many times do they send you said letters? Because if this is like the fifth time, they're like, damn Oh, no, it. no, no. Don't go at it. Don't play. Yo, you get that for Yo, when I see department, yo, I'm telling you. I feel like they right behind me. I feel like they tapping my phone and everything. Oh, that nigga right there. That nigga right there. Like, uh-uh. I feel like I, when, when I walk outside, yo, when my insurance cancel, I'd start talking with my hand, like, covering my mouth. Fuck up like, his premiums. Yo, like, like, like it's the feds in the 70s, like, you know, before they had all this high tech and all this but stuff. Y'all know and like, Yo, they reading yeah. lips and everything. Like, yeah. Yo, like I'm gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> going I'm gonna go to Walmart. You know, like, Mark, you're like, you're in pain. Yeah. Is he about to go in that car? Yo, I be having to like switch freaking body doubles and everything, switch cars and shit. I be going in tunnels and 
jump in the, I park inside the tunnel, I jump in another car, and I. <laughs> So the insurance company is like, so you can afford two cars, Wait, but you can't afford the no, insurance. No, 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 no. So but keep in mind, this is the same man that said, set a car worth from the NSA. So. <laughs> That's how I know you got to avoid this nigga. This guy has two cars. So, so, so to circle back. Yeah, so to circle back. That's called facts check. We're going to need to facts check all of this. <laughs> For real. Facts check all of it. One hundred percent. You know, you, you know, Santa gonna get fucked up this year, right? <laughs> Kids gonna be like, I don't trust that motherfucker. I don't trust this nigga at all. Hey, listen, Fuck him. Yo, put a bear trap in the chimney. I'm telling you, <laughs> this year you can't take no chances. No, nah. they they wilding. This year's just. I'm just I don't letting you know. Nobody. Kids cannot listen to our show because we say we say some shit that we feel is real. Oh, really? Okay. Yo, because I'm telling you right now. Times I'm telling you right now. If you go to your kid right now, your kid is like, you're like yo, you want to watch uh, Snow White and the Seven Doors? Your kid be like, hell no. <laughs> I ain't trying to watch that hoe and her drug dealer friends. <laughs> what? Fuck that Where'd shit. Where'd you hear that from? That bitch sleeping the whole day. Then you be like, all right, man, what about <laughs> watch Cinderella? Hell no, that bitch is a fake bitch. you like, oh, all right then. Uh, uh. Guess we not watching Disney. Come on, boys in the hood. Get, get right? It. Put the real shit on. Menace to society and shit. <laughs> oh, boy. But guess what you're getting for Christmas? Eyelashes. For real. For 25 motherfucking days. days. <laughs> Yo, Christmas is like, if you get on Christmas, sorry, you got you to gotta start in January. You know, Christmas is already done. So, I don't know what to tell you. I guess, that's what we're Hold your do. lashes until yeah, January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait till next year. <laughs> Just put twenty one at the end of this one. Twenty twenty. I'm just being real with it. I like. I know we we like to we, we jump back and forth on, on topics. I'm no, like, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, if you a chick working at Popeyes, and <laughs> no, you got no, on no. some fake eyelashes <laughs> on, your priorities are wrong. Facts. Really? You working at Popeyes, and when I hit when I hit up the drive through, you pissed at me because I didn't drove up. Yo. Bitch, this show job. Wait, I don't. <laughs> what happened the last time we went to Popeyes for that chicken sandwich? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> so we go through the drive through the Popeyes for the chicken sandwich and we're standing there and I swear to God the car, the line's not moving at mm-hmm. all of course mm-hmm. at all they ain't ever moving no it ain't moving mm-hmm. no one is taking the order all of a sudden I'm telling them I'm like yo roll down the window real quick we roll down the window and the chick that's supposed to be taking our order is on the phone in the parking lot screaming at her baby daddy on the phone word the guy comes in out from the, true or not true, the guy comes out from the thing is like, hey, can we at least get the headset? I'm like, so we all yeah, can't order Because she's headset. outside with the headset on. So it's not like Why she can say it ain't like her. Off of work? We can't order a damn chicken sandwich because your man on the side, your baby daddy or whatever the hell you got is on the side arguing with you. I'm like, this don't even make no... Oh, man, Rika... Because, like, if you can have a job and doing shit like that still, but, I mean, where can you do that? Seriously. Like, where? where? I don't know anywhere else. That's why we got to send them out. And actually, I did a uh, video that same day, and you she did. was walking right behind our car with the headset, and she, like, handed it. I was dying. I was like, so we can't order our damn food, because this chick took the only headset to take orders from the drive-thru. But that be my people, though. Selfish. I love my people, but That's I swear to selfish. God, y'all be doing see, some fucked up shit. You see it the way I That's see selfish, it. selfish. I was like... Yo, I because like I, could, I guarantee you, that shit at Wendy's, they don't do that shit at Wendy's? Nah, yo. Try that shit at Chick-fil-A. I like Wendy's. Oh, hell no. no. You think that ever happened no. at Chick-fil-A? No. Yeah. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. You messed up. That's why they changed your car. Uh, uh, I forgot to say. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> 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 Don't you ever ask for just random shit? Just that thing like, can I have a nigga, napkin? Thank I'm two blocks from pleasure. your place. I'm at the stoplight. Damn, yo. Did you give this nigga a tip? <laughs> yeah. They always, I mean, honestly. <laughs> He's knocking on you. Uh, 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 sir, yeah. What? The fucking bottom of my car. Uh, 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 my pleasure. Oh. Yeah. Word. Popeye, yeah, you brought up a Popeye's. Have you, have you You'll get that shit. Driving away from Chick Fil A and forgot one of your items. They yeah, they will hunt you, will hunt you down, down and go get. I seen a dude yo. who left his cookie you know on what? the counter, and Chick-fil-A the dude, right yeah, dude yo. got the cookie, ran to the parking lot Look and stopped that. the dude from leaving so he can give him his goddamn cookie. Popeye's, uh-huh. I have left 
four fucking chicken wings and them motherfuckers never come to the goddamn parking lot. And then when I have a receipt saying y'all didn't give me my shit, I got to literally bring a fucking lawyer to let them know I ain't got my goddamn four wings. So You know what? Yo, lawyer better be Brutus. So I had another experience with Popeye. I did have another experience. I'm just saying. Fact shit. Let me tell you. The people at Popeye rude as hell. And they gonna, they caught me on the wrong day. That was the day that was like the not today. Yeah, you trying right? to help them out and shit. Yeah. So we went through the drive through God, this was decades ago, at least. At least two. A good t- 10, This is Popeye's? Years. Popeye's. Yeah. This episode Popeye's. is brought to you by... <laughs> this is Popeye's. This is not sponsored by Popeye's. Please. This is, so sponsor- Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. This is Chick-fil-A. sponsored by Church and Chicken. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Ah. Tell them. Tell them. Dry biscuits. How that went. So we went up to the drive through and the guy, like, the I Popeye, rolled up, right? the Popeye, okay. and I went to go put my, I was like, hello, and he's like, hold on. I said, who is he? Okay, hold on a second. But no, no, like, before you go into that story, tell the events oh before that story, oh my when we goodness. actually went into the motherfucking no, Popeye. No, that's what, that, that's what leads to it, because remember, okay. this is when we started the order. Oh, okay. no, trust me. so then she, I said. She's detailed. So I was like, you know, I placed the order. I'm trying to place the order. And then it went silent for a minute. And I was like, well, did he forget about me? I said. After he said, hold on. Hold on. It's been like two it minutes. It was like two minutes. He never came back. He never so came back. So then I came back. And I'm like, excuse me. He said, bitch, I said, wait. <gasps> to which I responded, I'm going to show you a bitch. That's when I look at her and I was when like, I you had that old up. fuck moment. <laughs> not, not because you were afraid. Of him, you afraid what she going to do to him. I, my response because was... Because you know that she will climb out that window to fuck his ass up. Pull your so ass when out. he said... I was like, ah, oh, damn. Oh, my goodness. I said, bitch, wait. I said, I'm going to show you a bitch mm. in two seconds. So I get in the car. I'm still in the car, and I'm driving. So I drive up. I leave the car on and I tell him, I said, get in the driver's seat because I'm going to fuck him up. I don't even make it through the door. The guy standing right behind the counter and I literally, I was like, oh, I'm that bitch. And I went to go. He jumped back and I missed him. Manager sitting there going, she going to whoop your ass. I said, are we serious right now? Oh, my goodness. Are we serious? Call me the manager. The manager sitting there being a ref. <laughs> in this corner we have uh, a irate uh, customer. Uh, in this corner we have uh, Jonathan. Uh, he's gonna get a nasty. Bye. Like, like, <laughs> I bet you he would think twice before he calls the Miranda but person. But the reality of it is, I bet you he didn't get fired. Yeah, I mean his manager is probably making jokes. You literally days. have a do it and drive through with an attitude. On top of that, he just called a customer a, a bitch. bitch. Yeah, and then fuck, and then at the side the restaurant. He is probably even being more uh, arrogant and an asshole. Exactly. And I, he still got a job. So yeah. I promise you. I guarantee you, you a Chick-fil-A, yo. they were like, you're fired, and that's my pleasure. Yeah. No, <laughs> you'll I never work you. at another Chick-fil-A so, no. again. You ain't never working at another Chick-fil-A you, again. He, when he jumped back, I, yo. I missed him by, like, a little bit. Like, I, I promise Listen, you. Listen, it make you feel better? He probably got like three baby mamas now. Don't. Was no, he was. <laughs> no, he was gay as hell. He ain't had no baby Oh, mama. word? Oh, oh yeah, flamboyant yeah. nigga. Flamboyant as hell. Oh, I tell you what. I bet you he think twice before he calls somebody a bitch because I don't think he really thought that I was going to zip through them Raise doors. Raise hell. For real. Oh, Lord. He Good didn't know. gracious. Yo, I like this. This is cool. I didn't expect for us to even be going in this long. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm done with my Popeye stories. But, but this has been a great com- conversation today, people. We had a lot of ins and outs. We learned a lot of things. We learned that Santa's a nigga that worked for the NSA. We learned that um, Popeye's ghetto was hell. Popeye's ghetto was fuck. Oh my goodness! We the learned magic. that um, bitches we love bitches love eyelashes. Lots of them. And we learned right. that Cupid might be a, a girl. Might be. Might yes. be. And Zeus is not the father. Don't fuck with Zeus yeah. because hey, yeah, I'm just saying. And people suck. Facts, yeah, but, yeah. Like, like whoever just used that restroom. And whatever gender you use, you know. Before me. Choose, oh, right? and we also learned that Puerto Ricans are niggas. Yeah. Nah. So, word, word, if you were Puerto Rican out there, you might be a nigga. Yeah. And Spanish people may be Latinos or maybe Italian O's. Not bad, like 90 minutes, guys. Something yeah. O's. They may, so, they have a lot of O's. Not bad for a freestyle Espanyols. session. Yeah. 
But we appreciate everybody tuning in to the show. And right. uh, the Brunch Bunch will be back. White people, we love you too. Real bro. soon. We're talking about you. We're Next talking. show, we'll be talking about the white race. So be prepared for that. Yeah, there we yeah. go. And how y'all, you know, working at Chick-fil-A doing y'all thing. Yeah, and no offense, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for those listening, nobody got injured in this conversation. The white kid really didn't get stumped out nah, during Black Friday. Little Brayden is okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His brains is good. His brains didn't get well, splattered all over the floor. The kid, you know what I'm saying? The kid who but that motherfucker at Popeye's, he got fucked up, Yo, though. We, we will mash that nigga. Sorry. That nigga at Popeye's is fucked up, though. He got fucked up. We calling our women bitches. All right, nigga, come get some. <laughs> come get some. But this, any of y'all out there, listen, we said a lot of words. I probably said bitch multiple times in this show. But I'm going to tell you right now, my nigga, you call your woman a bitch, I want all this money. That's what I'm saying. And those, have, <laughs> and, and those were the closing notes of Gino. Gino. <laughs> so saying. we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. This has been the Brunch Bunch with Sergeant General Bricks Whoop. Bang Whoop. Gino yeah. and our new... Featured podcast member for Vendetta. Yo, get this sound bite from V Vendetta, yo. We're gonna have to do that. Yeah, we gotta get a bunch of sound bites from V Vendetta. So I can just go crazy because you be dropping some shit, and I want to get some quotes off of that freaking movie, yo. I'm and I can't find, I can't, can't find us the round of applause. So, oh, okay. it's a, we gonna make our own I round of applause, it. my G, yo. We out. Yo, get get out. Back, hold on, keep this mic on, man. I got you, my G. I got, I got the other round of applause. Side, yo, I don't have the roaring round of applause. Yo, we'll put corny round of applause. Here we go. Round of applause, corny. So what do you think, Serge?